Hey guys, Kaz here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Rainbow Crate Fancy All for the Game set. So, if you've been online, you've seen there's been a, a little bit of discourse about this. So, before I even got the box, I heard about all this stuff, and it was rectified before I even got it. So, good, I guess, in that way. So, I'll probably talk about it a little bit more when I get into the box, but I'm still very excited. This is my favourite series. This is what the actual books normally look like. This is a self-published series and it kind of took the world by storm. I don't know any other self-published book that went this crazy and has this many fans and it's really cool. It just goes to show that when you self-publish, you know, sometimes you can just get all of the people reading your books. It's really cool. So yeah, let's just open this book, have a look and enjoy. So first of all, the box itself is really cool. I like the fact that it's got the little paw on here. It's got the little all for the game rainbow crow. And around the edges, it's got some quotes from the books. So we've got one here. We've got one here. And we've got one here. So I've just noticed inside as well. I've finished filming, but I'll throw this in here. There's also on the inside flaps quotes. So many quotes. Well, let's just open it up. And have a look. Ah. So first of all we have this, it's got the artist credits, oh there's an exclusive photo challenge, I'll read that later and then it also looks like a little ticket which is really cool. You could, this could be used as a bookmark, it could be just put somewhere where you keep all your fun things. This is one thing that people are moaning about, the fact that it says 2014 there, apparently the XE US Championship Finals was in 2007. I love this series, it's my favourite series, I've read it multiple times. I wouldn't have remembered that, but some people are like really obsessed. But, I mean, moaned about this, this is not even a thing that we even knew was going to be in here. It's just a fun little thing, it doesn't matter that it says 2014 on it. And also, maybe this is like the next final and both teams are in that i don't know anyway it's not that deep here are oh individually wrapped nice so first of all we've got the foxhole court this is the first book let's get it opened so here we go let me see if i can zoom out a bit there we go so this is book one, it's got this front cover, it's a bit shiny here, that's nice. Little sprayed edges, we've got the sprayed edges here, goes all the way around. Here's the edge, here's the back, and oh, look at that end page, that is really cool. I wonder if it's the same on both sides. It's different. That is really nice. We just there's the other side and naked. That is amazing. I love that. That that obviously this is really cool. It's a completely different vibe. This gives the vibe because there's so much orange on it. It's just like yes, this is the foxhole court. You know what I mean? Got a little quote here. Yes, I love these. I'm, I'm going to be rereading this version. I know some people get fancy versions just go on the shelf. This is getting red. And in here... Oh, that's cool. So there's the, the other cover the other way around. Shinier. We've got a little Nora Sakovic bit here. On both sides. We've got a roster. This is one of the things people are moaning about. Because it says Andrew's a backliner and is the goalie. I mean, again... It's little tiny things like that. I don't really care, but I have got so a bit of backstory if you haven't heard. There are little mistakes on every single one of these, which yes, is not the best. If you're making special editions, you should be looking at them and fine-tuning them and having people go over everything. Because there's so many different parts of this, I would say it's understandable to have like one or two mistakes. Even books that are from the biggest publishers in the world have spelling mistakes in them or bits and pieces here and there but there are mistakes on every single one of these books a few days after people were talking about it rainbow crate was like right we're remaking the dust jackets 
here's an email that tells you how to get them for free they'll we'll send you so it's all good it's fine but yeah people are very annoyed about this little things like the back liner here i think maybe this is meant to have this on there's just a few little bits and pieces on each one of them like i said personally i wouldn't have been that bothered but i have got them just because i can and they're fixed i have sorted them out but yeah i can understand why some people are super 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 angry but i'm not but i have got the read on jackets on the way next up the raven king so here is the front cover here's the spine oh this one's shiny but oh if you can see it it's orange not this one is getting in focus but yeah we've got the edge we've got the back shiny 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 and the edges are keys so again that goes all the way round and i really like this bit as well so the colors in here go into the edge which is really cool a lot of thoughts have been put into this so yes there were a few mistakes and everything but like you know what i mean it's insane how much effort has been put into these here's one of them here's the other one here's the flippable dust jacket with the original things on so as you can see that it says the Raven King here, but on the Foxhole Court one it didn't have the words there. And then Naked Hardback. Amazing. I am not one for special editions. It's not something I've ever really cared about. I will buy my books second hand whenever I can. I don't really care about this stuff. But this this series is my favourite and because it's self-published it made me want these more because like you know what I mean Nora get your bag it's awesome the fact that somebody who's self-published their books can get something this special made out of them so yeah last one last of all we have the king's men this one's got a shiny dark blue on it here's the edge here's the back if you know you know we've got a little chest piece around here all the way around the edges i've literally only just noticed as well that it's got a little uh, bookmark as the other two this one's bigger oh they all have that's cool they all have a little bookmark inside them i'll look at that in a second because it looked like it was a different color anyway and we have this one absolutely amazing and we have this one and then here's the original jacket and finally the naked hardback of the last book amazing these look so good Oh, there's the bookmark. Let's have a little look at that. Oh, wow. Even on the bookmark, it's got things. It says, you gave me a key and called it home. Oh, my days. All three of them got a different bookmark. Let me just go back. Let's see. Oh, I can't even get it out. They found parts of him, no disguise could change. And it's got the little keys on it. I mean, the attention to detail, I should have put that back on, but oh well. And then the bookmark on the first one says, remember this feeling, this is the moment you stop being the rabbit. And it's got the little paw on it. So yeah, absolutely stunning. Let me just get the last book back and put this back on it. These are incredible. I love them. I'm going to read them. And yeah, I did get the other covers just because they were free. Which is cool because it means I just have these covers that I can use. I can put them on the wall or whatever. 
But yeah, I am very, very happy with this. I know some people were like absolutely aggressive at Rainbow Crate, angry. I'm not angry. I'm absolutely thrilled with these. Here they are. Here they are. Love them. Absolutely love them. Look. So yeah, that is an unboxing of this book series. I don't really have much more to say than that. Love them. Happy. I'm going to be reading these now. And yeah. It is a win for me. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have even noticed the things that were wrong with it. I'm just looking at them, they're like, they're so pretty. It's just, yeah, absolutely incredible. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below if you want. I don't know if you've got this this book box, what you thought, were you instantly ag aggressively angry or did you think, oh, that's a shame, or did you not even notice? <laughs> or are you not American like me, so all of this drama went on before I even got the books with me? I know everybody in, in the UK and all of Europe were just like, what? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even have them yet. But yeah, say some words down below if you want. Like if you want, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, but only if you want. And yes, I'll be back in a few days with another video. Bye.